Right, kids, welcome back to Half Ass Garage. Cobalt, we're back on it. We're gonna get it finished. You're gonna see it finished in one episode. I just may have been nitpicking it for the last few days. Let's check it out. This might be the one time I'm speechless. All right, kids, how are we doing? Uh, so, finally out of work, and uh, we're out here. Let's start by taking all this garbage off. I'm gonna show you what you need to take a General Motors vehicle apart, especially a Cobalt. 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, clip remover. That's it. Uh, I don't even think this is gonna be long enough for time lapse. It's no easy. I'll take it apart and I'll come in and see if we find any more damage. So we went ahead and we got the bumper off. Other than the fact that there was an entire ant colony in the front of it. And I hate bugs with a burning passion. Especially ants. They're useless other than to feed things. And there was literally a giant spider right there. And it just must have been like, yeah, you know what? I'm not greedy. I'm not going to eat all of them. And I'm like, dude, you should have ate them all. I thought we had a deal here. But anyway, I'm going to have to have a talk with him and evict him. But it's off. Uh, headlight's still good on this side. Bracket's still good. Fender liner is good enough for an Ocado box. Apparently something else has already been hit in it. So I ironically did get a rebar. Though that's not going to... That, like that just literally makes no difference. Uh, so I'll probably just leave it. And uh, here's my headlight assembly. Oh, dude, check that out. Boop. Look at that. Trash. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this bracket off and then work my way to the fender. Take the fender off. Obviously very quickly. Uh, check this out. So this car is clearly extremely modular uh, because this is just a bolt-on bracket. I could just unbolt that and replace that. I'm going to fix it because it's just a little bent, but... Same with this guy right here, you know. Oh, look at that, I already fixed it. Ta-da, look, it's fixed. These cars are extremely simple. Oh. Um, yeah, sorry about that, battery died. So, uh, yeah, this is clearly a very modular part because this chassis was also the G6 and some other, st or G5 and some other stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna fix I'm just gonna bing bam bop it. And, uh, and then, uh, Figure out what I want to do next, kids. So, uh, we'll put you up there for a hot second there. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for standing there. Uh, that's actually a really good angle. I like that. How do I look good? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead, fixed the panel, did some dings and dents on... You can't really see it, but there's a little bracket. Um, and I... Check the suspension in the front. A lot of it's new. It actually has Moog sway bar end links and a Cobalt LS with crank windows. Someone took care of this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm quite baffled at it, to be honest. So uh, it doesn't look like it has any valve cover leak or anything. Catastrophic. I mean, everything really looks clean. And all I did was pressure wash it off. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This, this is going to be a good, good car for somebody. I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow. Uh, it's a little sweaty. I haven't eaten getting hangry and there are ants everywhere from this stupid thing so uh and all the parts to test fit and do everything are up out back in the pitch black and i don't feel like walking back and forth with one part a piece and a flashlight in the other hand uh oh and on the brakes i did put fluid in it i pumped it up i wasn't losing pressure so maybe it was just low uh but i really didn't have all that much brake pressure when i was moving it a little while ago so uh, I want to look more into that tomorrow when I have an extra set of hands and some eyes uh, to go ahead and, um, you know, turn the car on, pressure test them, hold it, and see if I can see where it's leaking, if it is. Um, other than that, we're ready to slam some panels on this thing pretty quickly here and uh, see if everything works. Make sure the headlights work, make sure there's no blown fuses in the headlights, the directionals, etc. And then once everything is lined, it's all factory parts just used. So once it's all lined up, um, I'll be able to take them off, clean them, scuff them, spray them, 
real fast, real, real dirty. Uh, and throw it on and get this thing for sale. So remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you in the morning. Live long and prosper, people. All right, kids, welcome back to the Cobalt. Uh, so I'm here in, in the garage here after a couple days of torrential downpour that I couldn't paint, obviously, and uh, doing some stuff in the house. We are back on it. Uh, so my goal tonight is to honestly spray these. So I'm going to sand, scuff, and spray the bumper and the fender. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, I got some new stands that I've had hiding up in the attic, apparently. Uh, that I had forgot about, so we've even got proper stands to do this with. So let's get right into it. Let's get this thing set up. First on was that. I went ahead and mocked up the fender, the headlight, the bracket, everything is great. And so there's really, that's all we had to test is make sure all the headlight works, or replace the headlight bulb, all the directional lights, all that stuff works. Uh, we will recheck at the end. But yeah, we, uh, we're, we, we are here today to prep and paint a fender and a bumper. So as I said, let's jump right into it. than I cared to do, to be honest. Uh, should have gotten a better bumper. It is what it is. There was a lot of clay coat paling on this thing, so I had to sand quite a bit of it. All these little louvers had to be sanded. Um, all in here was just terribly prepped from the previous paint job, and here was terrible. It's just, it was horrible. Future reference, don't buy a cobalt. Don't do this, don't deal with this. Bumper's terrible to prep, no matter what. Even brand new, it would be hot garbage to prep because you still gotta get in all this, all this crap. And that's clearly what didn't happen the first time. So I will now be able to slam this out real quick, prep that, and then we will mix paint and, and uh, well, I gotta clean the floor first. I'm gonna leaf blow that way. And uh, I gotta move Genesis stuff off of there. And uh, we'll get the fender on my other stand and sand her up, and that will be quick. And then we will move on to paint. Dry it off from the rubbing alcohol I cleaned them both with, both of them. And uh, we're gonna slam some color down and just get this done and over with. It's that good stuff, yo. That good, good. That good, good. Won't rust. Haha! <laughs> I will be laying down the final coat tomorrow. I'm gonna let it dry overnight, but uh, it's black, so it's better than it was. Baxter! Oh, Baxter's gone. Cool. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not a very good bumper. The fender looks actually half decent. That'll actually get a decent gloss. Uh, and as long as I let that dry and then lay down a fat, wet coat with some Hopefully not too much moisture in the air and some good heat. Uh, I'll thin it out right and hopefully it'll lay down nice and smooth on at least the fender. The bumper, honestly, I really don't care. This, like, you can only do so much to, you know, only so much. But it's the same color, so that's what's actually important. I don't even care how much it glosses. As long as the fender looks decent, the rest of the car looks decent. Good enough for government work. So, I am going to clean up for tonight. I will probably record me just slamming down some paint, 
If not, I will show you the end result after I get some more rustoleum, thin it out, and spray it down. And uh, then we'll wait for it to dry and put the car back together. And then clean it, and get rid of it. For now, comment, like, subscribe. Live long and prosper. Peace out. You saw me spraying the. How you doing? Uh, the front bumper and the fender. Um, if you stand like over here and you look at this and you squint really hard and put a fork in your eye and then close the other eye, it looks great. Uh, the bumper was garbage. I got a used bumper. Uh, a lot of the clear coat was peeling. It's just, it's just not, wasn't worth the time. So fender looks all right. You know, it's, it, it has shininess to it just as much as the rest of the car. And uh, it's one color. I played Body Man. I am going to, you know, take the flakes and shit off and uh, go ahead and just spray bomb it black so that it's clean. I am going to clean the headlights and at least give them a little bit of a wet sand and buff so that they're a little bit brighter. Uh, other than that, I mean, at least check the door gap. I mean, that's, pr that's pretty good. Except for down here, but that's okay. We just won't look down there. We'll just look up here. Uh, I started cleaning the seats uh, earlier today. So we've got this nasty thing. Okay, do this. Much less nasty thing. So, looks a lot better. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm half satisfied with that. The carpets are disgusting. So I think what I'm going to end up having to do is get an actual extractor because all I'm using is like a little tiny home Bissell thing. Um, but once it's clean, that's it. So I came out here to do some stuffs. I'm going to do a little bit of stuff tonight because mosquitoes have already eaten me. I'm going to continue to finish cleaning that seat and maybe move on to the other driver's seat or the, the other front seat, the driver's seat, and do that. And... Uh, Actually, you know what? I lied. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish putting this bumper together. Got the, um, what you gibbet, the what you gibbet, and then the other what you gibbet. I'm going to slam those in real quick. I don't know if, uh, where this is going, but, um, mid-video, beginning video, end of video, do me a favor. Uh, I, you can comment if you like my shitboxes. Uh, like, subscribe, subscribe, please. I, dude, I am... People, I am six subscribers away from 300. That's a small number still. Why? How come can we not get to 300? Like 63% of everybody who watches my videos, though for a short period of time, isn't subscribed. Tell me what you want to see, subscribe, then tell me what you want to see in the comments. That way I can make my stuff better for you guys and girls and toys and girls, everybody involved. Alright? Have a good night. I'm going to live long and prosper.